welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Edgar Berlanga is Canelo's mandatory because of David Morrell. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And according to Michael Benson and TalkSport, the WBA have declared that Edgar Berlanga is now Canelo's WBA mandatory. All because David Morrell has moved up to 175 pounds. They're making a new regular belt at 175 for David Morrell because he's vacating the one at 168. David Morrell moving up clears the way for Edgar Belonga to be the mandatory at 168 pounds. Now make no mistake, I don't want to see Canelo versus Berlanga. I want to see Canelo versus all the top guys at 168. But Canelo can't do anything if guys like David Benavides moves to 175. Guys like David Morrell moves to 175. That is not Canelo's fault. Think about this. You see, David Morrell was positioned as Canelo's future mandatory for the WBA last year. And yet, David Morrell decided to move up and wait and vacate that opportunity. Think about this. The WBA clarified earlier when Berlanga was claiming to be the mandatory for Canelo and corrected him and stated that, no, David Morrell is the mandatory and you will only be the mandatory for David Morrell. And yet David Morrell still moved up in weight same as David Benavidez. That's the problem with boxing nowadays. These guys are on the brink of their opportunity. You see, David Benavidez can enforce the mandatory and fight Canelo right away, make it immediate, but he decided to move up to 175 and fight another guy instead of fighting the Canelo Alvarez fight like he said he always wanted. If you truly wanted the Canelo Alvarez fight, you should be staying there at 168 because you're in the perfect position to get the fight. Make Canelo Alvarez actually be a duck if you believe he won't fight you and vacate his belt. But we will never know because David Benavidez has never activated his mandatory. He never enforced it. He decided to move up and wait and avoid the smoke altogether. You can't blame Canelo for guys moving up in weight and choosing another direction. Now, with all of that being said, I don't want to see Canelo versus Berlanga. I think that crap fight is garbage. I think Canelo Alvarez destroys this guy easily. And for September, I prefer if Canelo Alvarez fights someone else completely different. There's too many great fights for Canelo to have than an Edgar Berlanga.